As if we needed more to worry about than the threat of the deadly disease that has gripped the world, now there is more fodder for people's nightmares. Giant hornets from Japan that are now in Canada and the U.S. Scientists have dubbed them murder hornets. They're basically just the biggest hornet you've ever seen. Brent Sinclair is a biologist who studies insects, and he has seen the Asian giant hornets in action. He describes it as cool that they are such amazing hunters, but to the layman, the sight of these two-inch-long creatures with a giant razor-like and venomous stinger that can punch right through a beekeeper's suit, they might be better described as terrifying. I was watching these guys basically perch in trees and then fly down and kind of pluck worker bees off the side of the hive and take them up to, you know, take them up to a tree and bite their heads off. <laughs> so they're pretty amazing to watch. The killer hornets are not inclined to attack humans, although they can be deadly if stung multiple times. The threat is to honeybees, where they've been known to decimate entire colonies in a matter of hours. They rip their heads off and take the thorax for food. The hornets have now been spotted in Washington state, but they were first seen in Nanaimo, B.C. last September. Some beekeepers there had been tasked by the B.C. Ministry of Agriculture with locating and destroying their nest. And during their search, John Hall Ubeshin was stung and he said the pain was excruciating. Like being physically hit uh, in the chest, kind of like a bruised rib. And that pain persisted for about 16 hours. They looked cartoonish, cartoonish and prehistoric. Like Jurassic Park, something yeah. out of Jurassic Park. Bigger than they should be. Many beekeepers are worried about their hives, and there's been concern that these hornets could wipe out the bee population, which is already under siege, if they're allowed to proliferate. But another bee expert says that is an overstatement. With more than 650,000 managed honeybee colonies in Canada alone, these hornets would have to spread very widely to be a real risk. The threat to uh, uh, honeybee populations in Canada and North America are, you know, exceptionally low. The main goal that we need to uh, focus on now is early detection and a rapid response to eradicate this threat, identify the pathways. Of course, these uh, giant hornets can decimate a colony. Scott McIver feels confident that these murder hornets can be eradicated, partly because they are so big. Now that there's some awareness about them, members of the public will be able to spot them and alert authorities, such as invasive species units. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.